Hey readers and welcome to our spooky show of Radio 305. You may be wondering why Camila's not here. Well, I promise it's not a trick, but I'll be a treat. I'm Gonzalo Yawuden. Well, Gonzalo, let's get right into it. Kicking off our show, we take a look into a pup's Halloween. I think this is the most fun event of the year where people can spend time and spend the day with their dogs. And after that, we nail the spooky look. It's really cool. I've never gotten a design done, so I don't know, but they always look really intricate and cool. And finally, Chris and Julia revived the spirit of Halloween. Yes, and today, we're here at Scare Halloween. To celebrate the beginning of the spooky season, stay with us because we've got all these stories just ahead on, on Radio 305. 5th, Gonzalo. It's quite the cloudy day. Well, come rain or shine, our pups make the most out of their howl a weekend. Carmen Cavalecas starts us off. I'm here at the Pause for You Halloween event at Pinecrest Gardens, where both kid and canine parents can get into the Halloween spirit with costumes and candies galore. I think this is the most fun event of the year, where people can spend time and spend the day with their dogs. I like it, it's cute. He gets to socialize, he gets to meet other dogs. So it's cute, I like it. Halloween, a ghostly event hosted by Paws for You to find pups a home during the scary season. So the fact that you're able to have your family dress up in costumes and also your dog and spend the entire day with them is just so much fun. It just comes to show you that, that dogs can be so meaningful to people and stuff, like how they put a lot of pride into their dogs and pets. A fluffy friend can be so special that families think of them as one of their own. Yes, I love dogs. I love dogs. It's another kid. Yeah. <laughs> and a furry ball of joy can be the perfect piece to the family puzzle. <laughs> Everybody should consider at least getting some sort of animal for the family. It teaches kids responsibility, taking care. I think that families in general love this event so much because it does bring so much positivity, um, especially when they're looking at the dogs and just, it's just pure happiness. At this dress up and disguise event, both dogs and families can come together even during the spookiest time of year. For Raider Vision, I'm Carmen Cavalecas, reporting. Thanks Carmen, it's nice to see how our dogs adopt the spooky spirit. Next up, Amaya Mejia gets a mystery manicure. Roll it. While trick-or-treaters scramble looking to nail their Halloween costumes this fall, one salon in the falls brings a spooky spirit all season long. You know, I like darker colors, so I'll try to stick with those. And so for Halloween and stuff, I do, um, like, now I have really dark, dark charcoal with some glitter in it. And people can find inspiration for their spooky designs from all over. Now they get so many online, and they just put it out all the design online, and they just bring it on. After the this month, like, everybody come with all the like, design, and dark color. A lot of young girls come in. While for some, a simple pop of color goes a long way. And, you know, my office, it's something that, you know, you want to keep your, your makeup a little more neutral and just have a more professional, put-together look, so. Um, it makes me feel good to pamper myself every once in a while and get them done. I think, like, it's just like a day of self-care, and I come get my hands and feet done so I can just relax, and it's really nice. This environment for self-care is only possible with the people who make it all happen. I love my job. I love my job. This is like the therapy. When you do the nail before, everybody's done. They're so happy, you know? Doesn't make me happy. Whether you choose the colors or the characters of the season, Nail Fever has you covered all year round. Thanks. For Raider Vision, I'm at Miami Mejia, reporting. That's why she did like coral on. Okay. Well, I know. Thanks, Maya. You nailed it. After the break, Chris and Julia treat us to a frightening fashion show. We'll be right back. Sanchez and Julia Paquette may have outgrown trick-or-treating. 
but they prove that you can always fit in tradition. Take it away. Hey Raiders, I'm Julie Paquette. And I'm Christian Sanchez, and today we're here at Spirit Halloween. To celebrate the beginning of the spooky season. And to see who can put together the best costume under pressure. And Julia, I think I'm gonna go first, to be honest. So I'll see you later. Let's go, let's go. I don't got a lot of time. Um, so $45 is crazy. Okay, I, I gotta go fast, I gotta go fast. I think I know. Floyd Mayweather 2.0. 47 seconds. Shoot, I don't know what to do, I'm freaking out. 20 seconds, oh my gosh, 20 seconds. Um, 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 Mask. This is too much money. Oh, this is it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's all I got. Yeah, dude, screw it off. Okay, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad, to be honest. Wait, let's go. This is $20. Yo, don't tell Julia, but. Okay, so now it's my turn. Now it's what's here, fine. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get that one on like the camera. Okay. What if I get like just a tutu and try to go with something like a fairy? Okay, 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 I got it. Um, I'm gonna go as a purple and blue fairy. Now we're gonna get a tutu. This matches, right? Right? Wig, purple. Wait, I like this tutu more. Gems, because I'm a fairy. And then fairies don't have witch hats, I think. Oh my god. Uh, and five seconds left. I think I beat Chris, but oh well. Oh, that was so stressful. No, I, I can't. What are you gonna be for Halloween, Gonzalo? An anchor? Haha, <laughs> Desmond. Well, it was an honor bringing you guys today's spooky show. We'll see you next time on Raider 305.